What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo and today we're going to be fully resonating Luna's memories and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a run against Pain Cage against Kamu who is weak to dark damage which luckily Luna is 90% of and I gotta tell you guys man I, I really been playing this character you know, quite a bit at least when I can. I'm a pretty busy dude. I got a lot of games that I play but she is freaking awesome man. She really does outclass Dark Water Nobby by a massive margin and i think you're all gonna be so happy when she does come in the global and the, for those of us that are playing jp or, or on further then we're already loving life right this character is absolutely amazing and and let me show you like what she was already able to do in pain cage like on hell mode against kamu this character hit 172,800. that's a pretty damn good score i'm actually pretty happy with that especially when you look at her build right this character's got 4,000 BP, and she's level 64, right? She's far from level up, far from level up. None of her memories are resonated, obviously, because that's what we're going to be doing today. And her weapon is just a four-star weapon, just level one. I haven't even touched this thing. Still debating on whether or not I want to go for a six-star weapon. This is a free-to-play account, so... And the near collab is after this, so I'm kind of... Uh, you know, I really don't know if I want to smell black cards. And then Wana and Vera are on her team. And Wada, look what I got on him. I mean, he's just got these two uh, memories right here that really, I mean, they just increase your basic damage. And then he's got the Badlon memories, right? But none of them are resonated. Actually, the Einstein's would be actually be better because it would ask, actually decrease the elemental resistance of the boss. It would actually apply an, an extra debuff that would really help as far as doing damage with Luna, especially if you use her as your mainstay. If you're using her the entire time, it's really going to make a big difference. And his weapon is just a level 1, or I'm sorry, level 20, overclocked one time. And then Vera, all level 1 Da Vinci, and then with two Einstein memories. So really, it'd be nice if I had Einstein memories on Wada, and then maybe have Guinevere memories on Vera, because Vera does offer a heal. Whenever you apply a heal, the Guinevere memories will actually apply a debuff to decrease the elemental resistance of the boss. So this is something to keep in mind, guys. I mean, she's got 1930 BP. Wada's got 23 you know, 2300 BP, we might as well say. And then Luna's got 4000 BP, right? That's not a lot. Really impressive score for this character. And I really believe I could have done better if I would have just pushed it a little bit more and played a little bit more. So now we're going to go ahead and fully resonate these memories. Now, because this character is 10% physical and 90% dark, we don't really care about crit right now. I know all this is in Japanese. And what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys is I'll go ahead and pull up a little something there in the top right hand corner of the screen where it actually shows the icons and what they actually mean. Now, when it comes to her, what you want for this character when you're resonating her is either you want attack in all of her slots or you want, well, actually what you really want is you want attack on the top slot. So I'll click on this, we'll hit train, we'll hit resonate. And on this top slot, you're gonna want all attack. So. You know, any one of these stats right here, like this one here, this one here, this one here, or this one. We don't want this one because all it is is HP and crit. That's not worth a damn for a character that's 90% dark. So we either want this icon, this icon, or this icon. And for the bottom slot, it can be a little confusing, but for the bottom slot, we want her core passive, right? Which is this right here. Now I've already translated. This is their core passive. This is just attacker. It's not, this is what you want. You want her core passive to actually show up. And this is what the actual text looks like. So let's start off with the top and let's hope we get a little something, something. I was able to farm all of these memories. Uh, well, actually I got a slot one and four from playing just the story missions, but the other memories that I've gotten uh, for Luna here, I actually farm from the event. Click on this. Resonate. What we got? Okay, so this is not what we want. We don't want that crap at all. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. So here we were going to want the core passive. I don't know why I clicked on that. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, so this isn't what we want. This is a uh, crit and HP, which sucks butt, right? That's terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Let's go to this one and see what we can get. Maybe we can get a little bit luckier. Come on now. Come on now. Hook a brother up. Don't leave me hanging here. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, so now we got attack and crit. The crit doesn't matter, but at least we got some attack, so that's always good. And then we'll go to the bottom. Hopefully we can get that core passive. Come on. Mm, so, I mean, you know, it, it is attack and HP, so that is a good thing. I, I kind of have to keep looking over at my little icons over here 
to make sure I'm translating this right. But at least it is attack, right? So it's not bad, right? It's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and do these memories and see what happens. Come on now. Come on now. Hook it up. Hook it up. Give me a little something. Oh, man. Yellow orb. That's trash. That's trash. We don't want no orbs at all. You, that's not... I mean, it's not going to help you as much as you'd like it to help. It's all about the attack is what we want. So this is actually pretty decent. It's not a core passive, which I would have preferred, but at least it's attack. So I'm not going to complain. Attack is better than anything else except for that core passive. All right. Nice little music we got here. Oh, man. Blue orb. Ugh. Trash. Trash. And by the way, I'm probably not going to re-roll these because I, this is more of a free-to-play account. It's about a two-week-old account. And I really don't want to be putting a bunch into it. This is, I mean, this is our signature move, I believe. I mean, it's it's not good. That's not, you don't want that. You don't want that. Bummer. Okay. I definitely would have preferred some attack. That would have been a lot nicer. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so this here... It's just HP and crit, which sucks butt. Bummer. I got excited there for a moment. And then when I looked over my translation, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> That's not worth the crap. That isn't what we want. Okay, so this is actual attack. That's actually a good thing. So, all right, I, I can live with that. I can live with that. We did, get, we did get a few attack stats, which is nice. Man, no core passives at all, though. What a... Oh, man. We're getting shafted on the core passives. It's like the game doesn't want to give me those. Oh, God. This is freaking HP and crit. I got this, what, three times? Oh, trash. Trash. Last one, my friends. Last one. Come on, come on. HP and crit again? Oh, I mean, I'm going to have to re-roll them because them are, them, them, are, them are not helping her at all. Having extra HP, we, we, we don't need it. We, we need attack. So that's a real bummer. I'm probably going to have to work on getting a few more memories because... I'm, you know, I got enough time in this event that I can actually farm for some more. So I might go ahead and do that and try to re-roll them. Because these here, like this HP and crit shit is terrible. It's terrible for Luna. The elemental characters don't crit. It's, they're not, it's not worth a crit. You know, at least try to get attack or something. I'd rather have an orb there or the signature any day than just having HP and crits. But we did bump up our BP quite a bit. That's really going to shoot up her damage. I mean, we had 4,000 before, and now we're, you know, over 4,300. So that's going to make a pretty good little difference in her damage. So I'm, I'm happy on that side of things. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and level up her weapon so I can get it some extra stats because it will make a difference. But, you know, I really am debating on whether or not I want to go for a six-star weapon. I mean, I got 4,700 black cards. You need 7,500 to go to the... It's not a pity... But after 30 attempts, you got an 80% chance of getting your weapon. So it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's very, very risky uh, on this account. And again, I am trying to keep it free to play. I don't want to put any money into it. I put money in my global accounts. So we'll see what happens in the future regarding the signature weapon for Luna. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that pain cage run. And let me know how you're all doing in the game. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.
消核ネットワークの力よ。